my great thesis is that soccer is the game that never happened. That's what my book's called. And I don't mean that soccer was never played. In, so, in fact, soccer is the most played game in Australia. An immensely popular game at the level of participation. But it's the game that never happened in terms of memory, in terms of mythology, in terms of stories Australians tell themselves about themselves. Soccer stories are always outliers. Even aficionados of the game feel a little bit like that, apologise for the game, when in fact it's, it's a really legitimate bottom line part of Australian culture. All around Australia in the pre-war period, the game was blossoming, but they all were basically halted by the war, and so there's a tragedy in every town. First World War Memorial in, in Mildura. It was a discovery that kind of changed the course of my professional life. I was researching a little bit about soccer history. So the Carnegie Library over there, that's just recently undergone a centenary. I saw the photo and I saw that there was a lot of writing underneath it and there were the player names and there were asterisks on the players' names. Right at the bottom it said, killed in the war. And my response was to say, my goodness, you know, this, here's a team that lost five players. A little team in a little town in country Victoria. Here we've got um, Beckett and Alf Cameron, possibly the doctor. Having a soccer team there in, in the first place was amazing, I thought. But then seeing how much they contributed to the war, it sparked my imagination. I thought there must be more to this story. Turns out that our Impel team probably lost nine, even ten players. Originally it was a horticultural based area and um, still isn't very, very much a productive land of horticulture. What have you heard of this 1913 team from Oriville? Absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> Absolutely nothing at all, Ben. <laughs> I didn't even know it went back that far. No, I hadn't. New to me. Of course, there was always plenty of stories about uh, Aussie rules and things like that, cricket, and, but the other, no. Of all the football codes, soccer and rugby, rugby union that is, seem to give much more commitment to the war. Perhaps because both games were more tied to um, British roots than the others. In Newcastle, there were 650 players in the Newcastle region, 500 of them joined up. In Sydney, there were 1,500 players, 1,200 joined up. My argument is that if we can establish soccer having a place at Gallipoli and in, and in our war narratives, then we can establish soccer as a, as a code that has legitimacy and belongs in Australia.